Today we're going to talk about cereals and one of the things I don't like about cereals is that really there's not a lot of nutrition in this box. It's actually there's as much cardboard inside as there is on the outside. I prefer to have more of a, a whole grain or a, an egg bake in the morning or breakfast burrito, that kind of thing. But if you have to have Cheerios or if you have to have some kind of cereal, the things to look for, which is really cool that they've now put everything on the outside of the label here, we have the sugars for this one, which is one gram, which sounds really, really good, um, and three grams of fiber. And that's really what you want to look for. You want to look for lower sugars, six grams or less, because that's already over a teaspoon is six grams. And then you want to be looking at three grams to five grams of fiber, because that's really one of the, the other parts of it. If you can get protein in a cereal, you want to really look at what kind of form it's coming in. Cheerios, this looks really great. It says it's got three grams of, of fiber on it, and it says lowers your cholesterol. So what you'll see at the bottom here, this toasted whole grain oat cereal, it has a little disclaimer. It's going to tell you it's got three grams of fiber up here. That's what you're looking for. You're thinking you're getting that. But then this whole lower, lower cholesterol, it's actually um, three grams of soluble fiber daily from whole grain oat foods like Cheerio cereal in a diet in low saturated fat cholesterol may reduce the risk of heart disease. Cheerio cereal provides one gram per serving. But they tell you up here they have three grams. So when you're looking at these, you really want to look at how much the actual soluble fiber there actually is. So here we have two different uh, brands for toasted oats. The organic, which of course is going to be a little bit better, but you're going to not get the chemical fertilizers and pesticides. So it's going to have a little bit of that on, on the marketing. But then we're really going to take a look at the labels. And we want to look at the serving size of each one. Cheerios is one cup and the organic is also one cup. So this label is pretty much even. They both have, uh, Cheerios has 100 calories and the organic has 120 calories. The, the fats are pretty much the same, but when you look at sodium, the organic version actually has 250 milligrams or 10% or more of your daily value of sodium, where the Cheerios only has 140. Now we get down to the potassium, which is really good for heart health. The organic doesn't have as much. And then we're going to go down a little bit further to the sugars, and the sugars are both one gram. And then the fibers, of course, are going to be the same. The other part is when we get down to the bottom here in the ingredients, Cheerios has the whole grain oats, where the organic has the organic whole grain oats, um, organic rice flour, organic sugar, um, and calcium. Organic sugar, whether it's organic or it's not, sugar is sugar. So here we still have the sugar, phosphate, and vitamin E to preserve freshness. So when you're looking at your labels, you really want to look at what your condition is, your reason for eating healthy. If you need to be on a low sodium diet, maybe this one isn't the best for you. The fibers are the same and the calories and the fat don't make that much of a difference. But for the price, Cheerios, if, you, if this is a, the kind of cereal that you prefer, Cheerios still might be a better bet. This one is generally marketed as one that's a healthy cereal that'll help you lose weight. It has all kinds of different claims. One way to read the package on this, of course, is right through the top, 110 calories, 190 milligrams sodium, and nine grams of sugars. We really wanna be looking for a cereal that's six grams or less of sugars because you're already getting uh, a teaspoon and a half with the six. So if we go to the label here, we've got nine grams of sugar, which is going to be over two teaspoons. It's got very little protein. It's got 190 milligrams of sodium, which is which is okay but kind of high for a serving size of one cup and there's only 110 calories. When we look at the ingredients we've got rice, whole grain wheat, sugar, wheat bran, freeze-dried strawberries, brown sugar syrup, soluble wheat fiber. So there are several different kinds of sugar in here and not a lot of protein. If you're on a weight control or any kind of calorie restricted diet you need to be really looking at your protein. So this is something that actually a lot of people will have this and a half an hour later or an hour and a half later, they're really going to be hungry again. So really look for something that has a little bit more protein and a lot less sugar. So this one is very, very colorful and of course it's going to be marketed towards kids. If they could keep the color on the box and not put it on the product, it would already boost the nutritional value. From great starts come great things. Well, when I'm feeding my kids to start their day, I'm really not looking forward to giving them 12 grams of sugar or three teaspoons of sugar per serving. 
They're, they're serving here as a one cup serving. Picture my hand with a rounded scoop in it. So that would be about one cup and we're already giving them three teaspoons of sugars to start their day. Um, on top of everything else, like the Powerade and everything else they might drink in a day, that's really gonna add a lot. And if we look at any kind of nutritional value, we have some vitamins here, but they're all thrown in. Because if we're gonna look at the ingredients, there's not anything in here that says whole grain. It starts out with sugar. So the first ingredient on this is sugar. Anytime you look at the ingredient label, the first thing on the label is what it has the most of. And the last thing on the label, of course, is going to be what it has the less, less of. Well, the less of here is blue number one. I really don't feel like I should give my kids a bowl full of sugar and fake dyes. And I really don't think that's really gonna give them the best start to the day. There is three grams of fiber, 135 milligrams of sodium, but all of these things that have been taken out of the grain and now chemically thrown back in, their bodies really aren't gonna know what to do with it. Grape Nuts has really come out with a, a line of um, different kinds of cereals. Grape Nuts used to come in that small little box that only old people bought, but now people are getting a lot wiser on how healthy Grape Nuts really can be. Eight grams of protein in the original cereal and six grams in the Cranberry Vanilla Fit cereal. We're gonna look at the labels a little bit here. Um, the difference in calories is the original has 10, 210 and the FIT has 220. But when we're looking at the sugars, there's five grams of sugars in the Grape Nuts original and nine grams in the FIT because now they've added dried sugar or dried strawberries, which is gonna give you a lot more sugar. Why not buy the Grape Nuts, which is cheaper in the larger box, more protein, and then add fresh strawberries to it. And then you've got all of the antioxidants that are in the strawberries. You've saved money and you've gotten a lot healthier that way. Now the fibers, they're in the original, there's seven grams of dietary fiber. We can't, it's not broken down into soluble or insoluble, so we really can't um, decipher that. But 290 milligrams of sodium. If you're on a heart healthy diet, that's something you really wanna pay attention to when you uh, have this for breakfast, having a serving size of half a cup. So if you're thinking of half a cup, that is my hand flat. Who is gonna eat that for breakfast without adding a little bit more to it. Now the serving size of the fit is two thirds of a cup. So even then you're still getting more sugars and everything. So again, a better version of cereals. Uh, anytime you can get the steel cut oats or whole grain of any kind, that's always gonna be your better bet. This is really the symbol for whole grain. This is something you really wanna look for when you're looking at cereals. Um, if it doesn't have that whole grain symbol, you really wanna, again, check that label, read that label really well. So when you're buying something like this, steel cut oats, this is really down to what you're paying your money for. You have steel cut oats, which takes a little bit of time to prepare. You can always do it the night before, put it in the refrigerator, heat it up in the morning. Um, then it just, that just speeds up the process. This one, of course, is the instant variety. So it's going to be slightly more processed, but it's still steel cut oats and it has a little bit more salt because it's kind of a grab and go. Any of these, you can add a nutritious fruit. You can put a little bit of maple syrup. You can add your own um, additions so that you can control how much sugar that you have.